Tyler here with the GP Knives, and today we have the Spyderco Shaman. This is a native inspired compression lock folder. It's got a blade of CPM S30V, a proven steel from Spyderco. It's got a high height saber grind, as you can see here. There's just a small area of flat at the top. This keeps a nice robust thickness out to the point, but still has plenty of slicing performance like a full flat grind. We've got index and thumb jimping here, Spyderco round hole, and if you notice the finish on the blade is a heavy stone wash. It's a very attractive finish and is going to work well on a user knife such as this. Handles on these are G10 and as you can see they're a matte finish and they're heavily contoured at the edges. They're not too much thicker than the standard paramilitary scales, but just enough to give a little contour there and feel very comfortable in the hand. As I said before, it's a compression lock folder. You've got CQI with the floating stop pin here. It's got four position stainless steel pocket clip. And it's a slightly different shape than we've seen before with this center lanyard hole. Clip also has a matching tumbled finish with the blade. And overall, this knife is very comfortable in the hand and smooth to operate and deploy. And here you can see the shaman in my pocket with both the military and paramilitary. You can see in the factory position tip up right hand carry, it is a little taller than the paramilitary and about the same size as the tip down military clip. The knife carries very smoothly in the pocket thanks to those contoured scales, allowing for easy access to items in the pocket as well as fast deployment of the knife. And the knife can be deployed in a variety of ways, including using the jimping on the spine as a sort of top flipper. And here you can see the Shaman with the Native 5. So you can see the similarities in design here. Obviously the Shaman is much larger in size. You can see the difference in blade thickness and also the difference in the grinds here. Even though the Native does have that swedge, it's basically a full flat grind all the way up to that. So it's going to have a little more taper out to the point there, whereas the Shaman is more robust through the duration of the blade. You can see the similarities in the design. Of course, this has only the contour at the index here, and otherwise it's flat. And then it's got regular liners as opposed to the nested liners for the compression lock. And here's a quick group shot. We have the military on the far left, the paramilitary 2, the shaman, the native 5, and the para 3. The shaman is one of few models that have been released in both a plain edge and a full spider edge recently. And here we have it with the Paramilitary 2. You can see some of the similarities and differences. Obviously, the grind is going to be much more robust on the Shaman, even though it has the same blade thickness at the spine. You can also see a slight difference in the construction of these two with the thickness of the liners on the compression lock. Here you can see they've both got a very similar length in the functional grip area, including that index finger choil. You're also going to get a fairly similar cutting edge length. And then the overall thickness on the two, while being similar, is going to be a little bit higher on the Shaman, as you can see, just maybe a millimeter per side with that Contour G10, where you're going to notice it maybe more is in the footprint. So here you can see the footprint of the two with the Shaman being just a little bit wider in the overall profile there. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the new Spyderco Shaman compression lock folder. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.